Hi everyone, I'm here with uh, Trey Miguel from Impact. He came, good. yes. <laughs> How are you joining the toy show so far? Um, it's been really, really fun. This is pretty cool, honestly. Um, I'm a big toy collector myself. I collect horror film figures, like NECA figures and such, and Trick or Treat Studios. Uh, I used to only collect wrestling toys when I was a kid. I used to take them with me to school. It's, it's pretty cool to see how far action figures have come. I remember like you couldn't bend arms on the first figures I used to get back when I was a kid and now these things bend at the torso, the hips, everything, they can do splits, it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I can't wait to be one one day, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, with the face scans and everything, uh, a lot of the figures, like, like they, they look very realistic, right? Yeah, the thing is really cool. Who do we got here on this table of yours? Oh, let's see what I got. If you had to pick one favorite out of all of these, who would it be? Probably The Undertaker. That is a sick Undertaker, oh my god. Oh my, all right, not a bad pick at all. Not a bad pick. That Jerry the King Lawler looks pretty sweet. Yep. And so does this Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock was my brother Mikey's favorite wrestler growing up. Oh. And I am Ken, Sh Ken Shamrock and Impact asked him if I could send a picture to my brother, and he was really cool about it. He was like, oh, yeah, okay. let's do it. And then, uh, and then he invited me to breakfast the next day. Oh, okay, cool. Ask your heroes for pictures. They might invite you to breakfast. Or they might not. I can't vouch for that on everything. <laughs> that is sick, though. I also have some customs. So I got, like, a custom Owen. This isn't for sale, though. This nice. is close to my heart. That is awesome. That is very awesome. There are custom Trey Miguel action figures that are out there in the world, but I don't happen to own any of them. I've paid for some, and they, they're not in my presence <laughs> or in my possession. I think I got robbed. <laughs> awesome, though. That is really cool. Do you collect any Mattel wrestling figures? No, I don't collect wrestling. The only wrestling figures I collect are uh, anyone that I've wrestled. So I have, obviously I have my Wesley and Nash Carter figures at home. I actually have two Nash Carter figures at home. And then uh, I have Ray Phoenix, Brian Cage, and um, Jungle Boy. Yep. So just people that I'm friends with, that I've had good matches with, that I, that I happen to come across in stores. I don't like ordering figures offline. I think it, I think the chase is the funnest part of it. You know what I mean? Going in and out of different stores, looking and then being disappointed, looking, being disappointed, and then one day you're not looking, and then it's there, and you're like, oh my God! Like That's how I found my uh, Nash Carter. I had gotten one from Zach, and then a few weeks later, I think I was, I was in a Walmart, not looking for anything. I think I was actually shopping for my nephew, and I'm looking at the wrestling figures just to see what's there, because I have to, I have to. And when I turned around, there was a Nash Carter figure on the shelf behind me, not with wrestlers. And I was like, when I'm not looking, because I already had my one finally. So I think that's, it's, that's the fun part for me. The one thing I learned about when uh, co collecting wrestling figures is that like, when you chase after it, you're going to overpay. Unless you catch it in the store. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes it, if you don't like, you don't chase after it. You just wait for it. Oh yeah. They'll just show up. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. So I, now when they release figures, I just I don't even bother. Like I don't have to be the first to get it. You just let just it come wait. to you whenever. Yeah. 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 Yep. yeah. If you uh, if you believe it, the universe will serve it. And uh, yeah, I think that's it's pretty yeah. prominent there. Yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned that you had like uh, figures when you were growing up as a kid. So yeah. do you still have them or? No, I actually don't. Um, I couldn't tell you what happened to them either. I think like just. Through the process of moving in my teenage years, it was one of those things where I was like, do I need to take these with me? No. And then um, that was before I had gotten into wrestling. I got into wrestling pretty young, though. But when I made that decision to not keep them, I was probably the most disconnected from wrestling I had been in my teenage years. So it's like, ah. And I, I had no idea where they are. Okay. So uh, outside of wrestling, uh, what are your other hobbies? I don't have a life outside of wrestling. <laughs> no, uh, actually, I train people to wrestle, which is still more wrestling. I watch wrestling, which is still more wrestling. Uh, actually, I collect sneakers. So I'm, if, if I'm not doing wrestling, I'm either hunting the latest drop on an Air Jordan shoe or working out or training someone to wrestle. I mean, like, it's wrestling takes up so much of my life that there's... There's no time for much else besides trying to rest. My favorite hobby outside of wrestling is sleeping. And I'm lacking that today. <laughs> okay. Have you tried like meditation or anything like that? Like more for like, um, like health and wellness? Yeah, actually. So um, I've tried that before. I just started doing cryotherapy, 
which is really, really interesting. Uh, you basically go freeze yourself. And uh, I think the last session I did was three minutes of negative 202 degrees. It's expensive, though, I think, right? <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, no, it's actually not that expensive. It's uh, about $20 a visit, but I, um, I have a, a partnership with the place that I go to, so um, I get free sessions there as long as I promote and you know tag what I'm doing, where I'm doing it. And if you're a pro athlete, it's pretty cheap. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, do you feel it's helped? One thousand percent. It puts your body in this. You have this sense of. Have you ever chewed like winter fresh? Mm -hmm. You know the way your throat feels after it. Mm -hmm. it's the way your body feels coming out of cryo for like a solid fifteen minutes, and it's just the most uplifting, energetic. You get so much natural energy from it. Mm -hmm. I swear by it. I really do. Everyone mm -hmm. should try cryo at least once. Okay. So when you're in there. What do you think about? Um, so they normally give you a, a song choice because it, it'll help pass the three minutes by. The average length of a song is about two and a half, three minutes plus. And I pick the same song every time and I just try to focus on the music. Focus on the music and focus on my breathing. Because okay. it gets cold in there. It, it gradually does it too. So you may not start off shivering, but by the end of it, you're, you know, you're starting to move a little bit and yeah. you got you to gotta stay calm up here. Yeah, okay. Well, you mentioned, what did you say? You, you, you were using wintergreen, right? This Winterfresh. Is, oh, so Winterfresh. This is um, peppermint oil. I don't know if you want to try that on your hand. Sure. But. Oh, no, a, a Sharpie got me. Oh. Your table smells so good. The moment I sat down, I didn't know <laughs> what particular smell I was smelling, but it smells good to be here. <laughs> and it's called the Senta, so you just cover, cover your nose completely. Just try to cover as much as possible and then just inhale. Wow. Oh my God. You'll clear your sinuses. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to blow my nose after this and I'll be able to breathe for the rest of my life. Yeah. I have really bad allergies. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's oils like for that too. It's <laughs> actually really nice. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm also offering hand massages if you're interested. Are you? <laughs> Are we going to record it? We don't have to. I'm fine if we do. I'll give a review on it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a hand massage, guys. Are um, we doing one hand or both? Uh, it's up to you. What do you feel like? I, I feel like I will feel uneven if we only do one. Yeah. We'll I'll, do one. I'll have like one noodle hand on my wheel and then one like really tense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. So, um, peppermint's one of the oils. There's other oils to choose from as well. Um, let me see. They're here. They're just up front here. There's like my nose is gonna is starting to run now. It oh, cleared my nose. Oh. I have some wipes. Do you need wipes? Oh no, I'm okay. Um, wild orange. I don't know if you like that. Sure, yeah. Um. Oh, that is what I was smelling. That's it. Smells like an orange creamsicle. Oh. The second you brought that towards, like that's the exact. That's what I smelled when I sat down. This smells okay. so good. Let's do that one. So do you want to do like a wild orange and um, peppermint? Sure. Okay. So maybe one hand wild orange and one pe one hand peppermint. The two together is actually a really good combination. I trust you. All right. This is your this is your realm of expertise. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you? <laughs> I'm about to get a hand massage. Oh, this is my friend Johnny iPro. Oh no, no sir. It's your moment. Okay. It's your moment. <laughs> All right. So I'll just leave this here. How Hopefully do you need my hands? Um, just. Um, I'm like sorry. Ricky Bobby all over again. I don't know what to do with my hands right now. <laughs> so you can just put your hand like over like my leg. Okay, like that. And then oops. Oh, we'll start with um fractionated coconut oil. Okay. So it just helps like um, drive the essential oil into your hand. Okay, so we got wild orange and here's the peppermint. Are there benefits to hand massages that someone that never got one before or knows nothing about massages like that may apply that are just aren't common knowledge to people? Yeah, so like um, there's been studies that have been done where like if you do like a, like a massage or like a, like touching, like touching just a person, one person touching the other person, um, 50 minutes of that a day, every day, 
um, can um, release like a hormone uh, called oxycotin. I can't pronounce Oxytocin. it. Oxytocin. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's actually, yeah, your body releases that uh, when you cuddle too. Yes. Yes. It's yeah. called the love or the cuddle hormone. So even just through this touch, um, like through this massage, and if you were to do this every day, like 50 minutes every day, um, it, like if you get someone to help, like to give you the massage 50 minutes every day, it will help release that, um, th that hormone. Um, it's good to re uh, reduce stress. And then as well with the oils, there's a certain scents, like you, do, you, uh, do you know a lot about like aromatherapy? No. Okay, so in aromatherapy, when you smell certain, there's certain scents that you smell and your, your brain, uh, sorry, like your nose basically is very close to your brain. So the, the science behind it is like through the aroma, uh, it sends signals to your brain. So um, one scent, like say for example, lavender can help with calming. Yeah, so uh, I, I have an oil diffuser at home that I put lavender in to go to sleep. So I know, I know very little about it, but I know I do that and I know what it does. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so from my table, I have like, I don't know, like 50 oils. So each of the oils represents like a, some type of like a medicinal um, function. Nice. Very so nice. Um, like peppermint, that's great for like um, energy. Like if you're feeling tired, you like you took one with that and then like, you'll just... Yeah. <laughs> I haven't yawned since I've been over here. <laughs> right, so we'll start with um, wild orange. Okay. okay. So... I'm going to be a hand massage connoisseur after this. My handshakes will never be the same. <laughs> so just introducing the wild orange. So um, anything citrus is also really good for uplifting the mood as well. So there's other oil, uh, other citrus oils such as lemon or lime um, that are really good for that. Oh, I love this tattoo. Thank you. It's one of my favorites because I can't hide it. <laughs> Is there a meaning behind it? Um, so my entire left sleeve is for my brother that passed away. His nickname was Buddha and because uh, when he was a baby he was fat and looked like Buddha. And so uh, I have my entire sleeve dedicated to him and then um, I decided to put Buddha on my hand. Just as it just it finished the, the sleeve off beautifully I think. But yeah. A Buddha for my Buddha. And then I wear a Buddha on my necklace too. Everything for my brother. How old was he when he passed? He was twenty six. I'm gonna make Aiden Prince drive me home after this. I'm, I'm going to bed. What is he doing? Is he? <laughs> Which foot is hurt? Is gas foot or He's like, we were almost out of here, and now you're getting a massage? Rose, you have a lineup here. Look at this. Everybody's waiting for you. Look at this. I'm gonna take him to get Nando's for the first time when we get out of here. My hands are gonna be so relaxed, he's gonna have to spoon feed me. Like, how you doing, Chase? <laughs> I Just, find Chase. I'm gonna like put my phone between my my forearm and my bicep and be like Apple Pay, it. Like, just launch it onto the thing. <laughs> what spray paint you use for your belt, Chase? Okay? Green. What, what brand is it? Do you know? Oh, actually, I have no idea. Just whatever is available. Yeah, yeah. I have like a graffiti shop, so I really. You. Yeah, yeah. Try to like Johnny might have mentioned it. I have like a massive wall of spray paint. No. So we have like graffiti murals, all that stuff. If you ever come in town next time again, yes. whenever you do, come by. I'll make Johnny come do a, do an interview with him. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> We're doing one last thing before we leave. Before I introduce you to the Nando's. You smell great. It, I, it smells wonderful. <laughs> hey, you should have got your foot done. Okay, I okay. should have got the foot done. Oh, yeah. Hold up, it's okay. Yeah, it's such oil. I, got, I do got a broken leg. He's like, my foot hurts I'm way worse. Do you want a massage feet? Thank you, man. We'll talk soon for sure. Those are a legend, bro. Yo. And we can see you back on TV, Aiden. I'll be back, brother. I'll be back. Yeah, I will say I've never had a hand massage before, and after this, I could go for these. Yeah, you got two hands. That's good. 
I wish I had four hands. I feel like Mortal Kombat in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah. Roll. Yeah. Post, post Six. Match. Six. Whenever you're done, do you have $10 for both hands? Okay. It's going to be part of his gimmick, though. <laughs> I got a, I got a, yeah, yeah, I got a hand This is really relaxing. Bad ass heel with soft hands, you know, a nice smelly hand. Hey man, you gotta have clean, soft hands to hold that exhibition championship. It, it deserves the best cushions. Where are you guys? You're going back to Vegas, or what? no? Your next pay per view is here, isn't it? I'm so sorry. I'm the, I'm in this hand massage right now. No. <laughs> uh, we're in LA next week. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. You want to come to Toronto for Rebellion, right? Correct. Yeah, Correct. yeah. Rose, your favorite store, Rose. Oh, here's a store that he wants to show you. Like, yes. Well, that it matches exactly like you know how your whole like the yeah. Line has there. Yo. It's right in the center of it. We gotta go. You gotta ask him too. Do the signing with him. We have to get a Trey Miguel mural in my back wall. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do it. I'm just gonna do filler letters. Oh. Did you ever go to Chinatown? No. Not yet. Yeah. I've been here, uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've spent some time here. And now I'm debating if I want Jack Astor's instead of uh, Nando's. Is that garlic cheese bread? <laughs> so much. Check out Port Credit while you're here, man. We're close by. Is that that place you were telling me about? No, no, no. That my buddy's place is on Malcolm Street oh, downtown I got you. Toronto. But Port Credit is a fun place to be, man. Oh, all right. Yeah, here in Mississauga, beautiful, beautiful lake and everything. Anything that's chewable. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten a day yet. We got here at 10:30 this morning. Yeah. I had a donut. I had some Tim Hortons. You gotta have Tim Hortons while you're here. But I don't feel like I have to have Tim Hortons while I'm here. I live two minutes from a Tim Hortons in the states. Granted, I know they're not at all the same. True thing, man. I'm sorry? There you go, you're done. You're amazing. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> you're from Ohio, right? <laughs> yes. So you got it some orange there, I'm guessing? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Literally two minutes from my house. You're from a Columbus or a Toledo? Right? Toledo. Oh, okay, yep, okay, you have to live right in Toledo. Okay. Okay. Trey, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to go touch Aiden Prince's face now, so oh. it's, since he loves the smell of it. This was amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You guys should buy in, watch, listen, share, share, share. Sharing is the most important part of trying to get content out there. People can watch, but if they're not sharing, who else is getting the word? So tag me in this. I'll share it. I'll follow you. You guys follow me, and we'll make this thing happen together. Thank you so much for doing this with me today.